Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Tarantola. I'm coming to you from the Bollinger Motors booth at the 2019 Los Angeles Auto Show, where the company is back with a pair of new models for its super heavy duty electric work truck. You might remember Bollinger from last year's auto show when they debuted the very first version of their work truck. But the company's back this year with two new models, each with two new doors. The B1 and the B2, uh, the B2 is the one with the pickup truck bed in it. They're both built off of the same basic platform. A pair of powerful electric motors provide up to 614 horsepower and 668 pound-feet of torque. It's got a 200 mile range using its 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now that's gigantic in terms of electric vehicles. The biggest battery pack that Tesla makes is only 100 kilowatts. So this is a solid 20% over the largest one that's currently available on the market. The Bollingers are able to carry up to 5,000 pounds of cargo, which matches its curb weight, or tow 7,500 pounds behind it. Now, these Bollingers are class three vehicles, which puts them in the same range as, say, the Silverado 3500 or Dodge's Ram 3500. These are built for work. If you're looking for a truck that you can show off at the mall or just throw some stuff in in the back end and use on your commute or help your buddy move a couch, these aren't the trucks for you. If you're trying to escape the Thunderdome or break into Mordor, this is the truck you want. They offer all-wheel drive, which makes them just as capable on-road as they are off. Its 15-inch self-adjusting ground clearance can be lifted or lowered by five inches in either direction. This can be especially helpful when you're trying to ford a stream or if you ever want to go bouldering in it. Now, the battery pack is huge, which means that charging it is going to take a little while. With a level two 240-volt power source, you're still looking at around eight to 10 hours to charge it up from absolutely nothing. But if you can find yourself a level three charger, ooh, that drops the charge time down to just 75 minutes. That's pretty quick. The interior is in a word, Spartan. Uh, you're not gonna find a big splashy infotainment system with giant touch screens or driver assist systems. But what you will find is cargo capacity, now, one really slick feature is the pass-through system, which allows you to flip down both the front grate and the rear tailgate to accommodate exceedingly long items, like super long two by fours, or gigantic water skis, or comically long regular skis. So you're not gonna wind up having to stack a bunch of two by fours in the bed of the trunk, and then have to lash them down. The rear seats are also removable for even more cargo space, allowing you to fit up to three motorcycles or probably a dozen golf club bags, just in case you know you, you need to go with 12 times the number of golf clubs that you normally would. It's also super customizable. The windows come off, the doors come off, the roof comes off. You can strip this thing basically down to its frame and still drive it around. The company plans to finish ramping up production by the end of 2020, with first deliveries ar uh, arriving to pre-order customers in 2021. Now, each one of these, both the B1 and B2, are not cheap. Each one retails for $125,000. The company plans to finish ramping up production by the end of next year and start delivering orders to its pre-order customers in 2021. After that, the company will also probably start looking into providing extra accessories, allowing both private consumers, businesses, and government agencies to further customize the trucks to their specific needs, uh, whether that's forestry or beach rescue or simply going off-roading. Stay tuned to Engadget all week. We'll be bringing you full coverage of the LA Auto Show 2019. Thanks, everybody.